How are you enjoying the year so far? Really good. Um, just good to see all my pe all the people that I met from last year, and also seeing the con contestants from last year that I met. It's just been a whole year, and we just wanted to catch up and see what's been going on. Because you won the Chloe Prize last year, didn't you? And now you're exhibiting in the designers area with yeah. your collection. Tell us a bit about how winning that prize sort of changed your career and affected what you do. Yeah, I think it changed everything. That <laughs> um, I mean. Be doing the Chloe Prize, it got me to um, get a lot of expo exposure and also it gave me the chance to show in Berlin as well with Mercedes-Benz and L. and it just kind of propelled something that I didn't think it was possible at such an early stage. Hmm. Mm. And you've made a fashion film off the back of, of winning that prize, haven't you? Can you tell us a yeah. bit about, about your uh, film? Um, well, we actually did uh, a film for our autumn winter collection and it's all based on ski wear and we wanted to make it something quite funny and because the idea of it was kind of this retro 80s kind of um, ski wear inspiration so we wanted to do a tutorial on how how to ski and what not to do and we actually got a lot of fake snow from America and set up this huge stage and we just had a lot of fun with it yeah let's talk a little bit about what's been going on at yeah 2013 because you talked to me a bit about seeing the shows last night and you talked about how some of the designers their aesthetic is so different to mm -hmm. what you saw last year tell me a bit about the change you've noticed yeah um well for this year i just noticed that um that you really notice how the shift of fashion is kind of happening and even studying at st martin's i would go and i remember when i was studying there the aesthetic or the energy of the students are very kind of like quite big and quite theatrical and i think even now going back to just go and see the graduates, you see it a lot more refined. And I think it reflects that also here at the Year Festival. Mm. I want to just ask you one more question, which is about opportunities like Year and like the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Berlin that you yeah. showed at. How, a lot of people in fashion put a focus on the main four cities, you know, London, Paris, New York, yeah. Milan, but how do you think opportunities like Year or like Berlin or some of the other sort of international fashion weeks, what do you think they bring that's different and why are they, why are they so great? Well, I think precisely because they aren't the four cities, more four main cities, I think that people want to seek something that is new or interesting or exciting. And I think with, um, yeah, with its reputation and all the years that it's been doing, people know it and I think people respect it. And it gives this kind of credibility to designers outside of the four cities because sometimes it's a bit easy to get lost mm. in there. And by doing something like this, I think it puts you kind of on the radar. Mm. So I think it's really important to do that, especially for young designers. There's a lot of opportunities outside of just the main four.